Hey, what's up? John from VideoFort.com bringing you a new After Effects tutorial series on Pac-Man. This is going to be for beginners again. This is going to be your very first project that's going to deal with multiple comps and lots of key framing and lots of things going on at once. And I'm going to take you through it step by step. So be patient. But in the end, you're going to create something similar to this. Well, it's just like the game, isn't it? Ow. So yeah, we'll uh, get you on your Pac-Man skills. You'll be able to create Pac-Man better than you can probably play it. So let's get this show on the road. Now I've provided you all with your very own After Effects project to play around with. This is the one that I made. It's going to have all the keyframes set in it and uh, all that stuff so you guys can kind of see what I did and where I went. It's got you know all your comps in here. Y'all are super lucky to be set up with this. Um, but we're going to do this from scratch. So in this very first episode, we're going to be learning how to create the game board. And the game board consists of two layers. I'll go ahead and show you mine real quick. I'm going to turn off all of these. And you see our scoreboard, which is this layer. And I'll turn that off, and we've got our blank board. And we put the scoreboard on top of the blank board because Pac-Man's going to eat all of these points up. And as he goes along, we're going to make him vanish. And we use a mask to do that. You can kind of see the mask animating here. I hit the RAM preview. And so you can see the mask starts to animate. And so we need to have a blank layer underneath so that it reveals nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and start by going up to Composition, New Composition. And we're going to make it a width of 600 and a height of 800. Square pixels, 24 frames per second. And have it be 30 seconds in duration. And we'll go ahead and click OK. Now, from there, we're going to rename our comp to Game. And we want to do that because we're going to keep everything organized from the start. And if things start getting unorganized, then things start getting confusing. And I'm going to go ahead and take these folders and create a new folder with them. I'm just going to call it original. You guys don't need to do this unless you want to. All right, so we've got our game comp here. Now, from there, we are going to go into our assets, which I guess is that. And we're going to drag it into our game comp. And that's going to give us this. It's going to have all our characters on the right hand side, our blank board, and our points board. And we're going to focus on the points board first. So we're going to change our anchor point here to be centered with the board. So let's go ahead and grab our pan behind tool. And we'll grab onto our anchor point and get it about center right there. Now, from there, we're going to zoom in just a little bit. We're going to grab our rectangle tool. And we're going to create what's called a mask around this points board. We want to make sure we have our layer selected. And we're just going to draw a rectangle around the points board. And that makes it so that we can only see this points board here, which is pretty convenient. And I'm going to use the arrow keys to move this over just a hair. That looks good. Now, from there, we're going to select this, and we're going to press S. That's going to bring up the scale. And I'm going to zoom back out. Grab the selection tool and center this a little better. And then I'm just going to scale this right on up. And if I unlink it, I can kind of customize the scale. 
so that it'll fit in perfectly, which I kind of want, so that's what I will be doing. Let's zoom back out so I can see the top and bottom. All right, great. So we have our points board created. Now, from here, you might be thinking, oh great, now I gotta bring down another one of these layers and do the same thing all over again to get the blank board. And that's not necessarily true. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rename this one points board and hit enter. And then from there, we're gonna go up to edit duplicate and we're going to hit return and call this one blank board we're going to select the drop down menu we're going to drop down mask and we're going to select the mask and we're going to shift click over the mask so we're moving the mask over to the blank board and this is going to make a lot less work for us. Just like that. Let's go ahead and change our center point. So we'll grab the pan behind tool. We'll just grab the center point and move it over. That's about center there. And then we'll reselect that and go up to our selection tool and we'll shift click our blank board back over. Now, right now the blank board is on top and we want it on bottom because we want it to reveal the points. So we're just gonna drag it directly below the points board. And now we have the setup that we want. Awesome. -o. So that is how you create the points board for Pac-Man. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering how to place Pac-Man into this points board and how to animate him. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to click subscribe up in that right-hand corner and go check out some of our awesome footage over at videofort.com. Lots of really cool stock footage over there that you can use and do lots of awesome After Effects stuff too. Anyways, stay tuned for the next episode. Have a good one. Later guys.